Hey guys, welcome back to the world of English exams. So today's topic for the video is the most requested one on our channel, which is how to analyze and understand any given question in the IELTS writing test, particularly writing task two, which is essay writing. So today I am back with a new video about this topic and here I am going to explain in detail with some examples as to how to analyze the question, how to understand and uh, decode the meaning of what you are supposed to do and what is asked in the text. So without any further ado, let's get into the video by looking at some common reasons why the student uh, is not able to understand the question properly. So these uh, can be listed as the major ones, but I'm not telling that these are the only ones because every person encounters their own challenges while uh, writing an essay. So having said that, I have tried to shortlist what are the most common reasons for uh, lack of understanding uh, and what is the main reason, let us, let's find it out. So the first uh, reason is the lack of time. So most of the people who fail to get their desired score in the writing test complain that time was not sufficient during the test. As you all know, you are given 60 minutes or one hour of time to complete the writing test. Uh, th this is for both task one as well as task two. If you look at the individual uh, you know, time divisions, it is like 40 minutes for task 2 and 20 minutes for task 1. However, there is no hard and fast rule that every candidate has to abide by these uh, rules and regulations. You can plan uh, your own schedule in the test, which means that I have seen students who were able to complete uh, the letter or, you know, let's say if, uh, if it's an academic student, uh, the task one that is report writing within just 10 to 15 minutes and they have allocated 45 minutes for task two. There are others who have divided the time equally, that is half an hour for the first task and uh, the second half for the second task. So it is up to you. Time division is entirely up to your discretion. So you can plan how to, uh, you know, allocate the time depending on your own ease and comfort and convenience. So lack of time happens only when you give excess time to unnecessary things. Like, uh, you know, the first thing I can say is that uh, when you read the question, you need to focus on certain things which we are going to discuss later in this video but uh, not focusing on the right element can sometimes waste a lot of time others may, may also say that they feel nervous and tensed on the big day and that's the reason they waste a lot of time so they keep uh, reading the question again and again uh, because the first uh, time when they read the question they don't read it properly so this creates a confusion and you know ultimately leads you to read the question again and again. So try to overcome this guys. This is an important suggestion. When you read the question, take one or two minutes of time to read it properly. So, so that you understand, you get the whole idea of what you're supposed to write, what you're expected to write. So this is the top most reason. The second one is improper planning. Yes. So there have been multiple instances when candidates lost the uh, you know score because of this planning is very important don't just read the question and start writing immediately first plan what to write what you are supposed to do is to follow a power strategy i have discussed that in detail uh, in my previous videos you can check the link for that in the description box or in the comment section i'm going to provide the link on how to follow uh, the power strategy. Power strategy in brief is nothing but a five step method which you can follow uh, while uh, writing and also of course you can use it in the speaking test as well. So the five steps are planning, P stands for planning, O stands for organizing. Once you plan you get a lot of ideas but organizing them properly uh, and logically is also very important. Then W stands for writing. So only after you've planned and organized should you start writing. Then 
E stands for editing. Very important step, guys. So editing the letter or the essay or the report is very crucial and it's very important uh, so that you correct any possible errors um, before you submit the paper. And lastly, R stands for reviewing and rechecking, which is basically to count the number of words. As you know, there is a specified minimum word limit that you need to follow. Uh, and you, you need to make sure that you're writing at least 150 words for task one and 250 words for task two. So this thing is reviewing and rechecking. So this basically is the power strategy for those of you who are watching this video for the first time. I've just given a brief of uh, what you are expected to do. So improper planning is yet another reason why the candidate is not able to perform as per the expected uh, standards, mm -hmm. I must say. So then the third reason is not focusing on the keywords. So I'm going to uh, explain this in detail with examples. So mm -hmm. stay tuned till the end of the video. I'm going to discuss this part in detail. But keywords are the, the main words in the question. So once you uh, understand these keywords and identify them properly, uh, it, it becomes so easy for you to uh, read and write the essay. So the fourth reason is not reading the question properly. So all of this, whatever I have said till now, boils down to this. Uh, not reading the question properly is... I, I can say that this is a reason which uh, which sounds to be very silly, but uh, often people, uh, students who have given the test tell me that I have read the question, but not completely. That is, I have written uh, on, a, on, a, on a very general perspective, but I haven't covered uh, the topic completely. So this is something which has to be taken very seriously, guys. Please focus on what you are supposed to do. Read the question, understand the question properly, and only then you can write the essay with confidence. And finally, not covering the content completely. So uh, because of, uh, let's say, lack of time or lack of proper planning or not focusing on the keywords, ultimately, this is going to happen. You're not going to cover the content properly, which means that you're either skipping the major point that has to be covered or you're writing about one point in detail, which leaves little or no time to write about the subsequent parts of the essay. So let's make sure that this checklist is properly understood and dealt with in the real test. So having spoken about uh, the common reasons, now let's discuss what could be done. What, what are the probable solutions to tackle these uh, problems? I don't say that these are major ones, but yes, uh, these can be the problem makers. So let's not, uh, you know, take these risks in the test. So what to do? The first and the foremost uh, advice I give you is to take one to two minutes of time to read every word in the question. And when I say every word, it also means that you need to focus on singular and plural. You, you also need to focus on whether your opinion is required or not. You also need to focus on what the core element of the essay is. So. All this has to be done in the first minute or two. Uh, I'm going to tell you uh, a, a brief checklist of what can be done, what has to be taken care of. So let's first understand this and then we will proceed to discuss some examples. Then try to understand what the main topic is. So often people read the question hastily because of which it so happens that the main topic is often uh, not considered properly, not considered up to an extent that it has to be. So understand what is the main topic. So I'm going to uh, give you instances uh, of how students have been misled uh, and without understanding the topic, how they have written the essay and all that we are going to discuss. So let's continue to the next one. So read carefully and identify any micro keywords. So often along with the main keywords, you will also notice that the question will contain some micro keywords, the smaller keywords, which have to be considered as well. 
then check if your opinion is required again this is a very important aspect of uh, task response which is responding to the task completely so uh, many of you might be aware that the writing task 2 will be evaluated on four assessment criteria which are called band descriptors the first one is task response uh, this factor uh, you know explains or uh, you know uh, evaluates your performance based on the extent to which you have understood and covered the topic then the second one is coherence and cohesion this is the logical sequencing of ideas uh, in a coherent way then uh, the third one is lexical resource or vocabulary the range of vocabulary uh, using collocations synonyms antonyms and such other things finally there's grammatical range and accuracy uh, the name itself suggests that you need to focus on a range of grammatical uh, you know grammatical elements like tenses change of voice and all that so these are the four band descriptors based on which your essays would be evaluated uh, so if your opinion is required please give it in the introduction and the conclusion as well don't skip giving your opinion if you are required to now how to identify if your opinion is required or not that i'm going to tell you with examples uh, so please wait till we complete this part okay so then lastly highlight the keywords so rather than just uh, noting it mentally uh, it is all uh, it's always better to circle that or maybe underline that in the exam uh, in the question paper you will notice that there is a lot of uh, you know empty space uh, where which you can utilize for this purpose having said that i hope that you have understood what the problems are and how you can tackle them how you can overcome them in the test now uh, i am going to give you some essay questions essay prompts and we are going to understand what i am trying to say uh, along with these examples then you can try implementing the same uh, strategy while preparing and writing the essay so that uh, i think you can get a better understanding of what has to be done and how it has to be done so let's start with the first example you can see that i have used two different uh, colors here so that you can understand the concept better so let's read the question properly uh, some people think that the best way to learn about business is to study a course at a college or university now here the topic is not just business it is learning about business that is what i have given uh, you know below you can just see the main topic is not business it is how to learn about business the method to learn about business if you just write about business in general you are not going to cover the major part it is about uh, the method to learn about business that's important and when you look at the portion that's highlighted in red you will understand that this is a micro phrase micro keyword that most of the students fail to read the best way now what is meant by the best it may it means that there is no better way there is no other better way to learn this is the ultimate way the most effective way so this is a superlative degree it's an adjective yeah good better and best so when when you say that something is the best it means that you are talking about it in a superlative degree this is very important so according to the views of certain people the best way to learn about business is to study a course at a college or university again here studying a course at a college or university means that a person needs to get proper education uh, and understanding about business at uh, or maybe by enrolling themselves at a college or a university which means that maybe they have to pursue their masters in business administration or something like that in order to in order for them to learn about the uh, elements of business in a clear way and uh, not just this but they are also specifying that this is the most effective way 
so nobody can learn about business in any other way other than going to a college or a university this is what this is what is the most important part of this question guys if you just highlight the keyword as business then you're going to write about ways to learn about business but what is being said here is that it is the best way you need to focus on this throughout the essay or of course in the first body paragraph because there is another point of view as well this is according to the belief of some people now let's see what the others are thinking about others believe that there are better ways there are other better ways if you look at this phrase guys it says other better ways ways is a plural term which means that you need to talk about more than one way more than one option uh, other than attending a college or a university you should not focus on about going to a college in the second body paragraph you have to talk about alternative ways maybe practical learning by observation or maybe uh, training from a friend or guidance of the family members maybe whatever idea comes to your mind i'm uh, so i'm just letting out my views on this but you have to cover at least two ways in the second body paragraph other than attending college this is how you have to eval evaluate your own understanding of the question guys this is how you have to understand the question then of course the the prompt mentions that you need to discuss both views which means that each of the body paragraphs has to cover uh, a, a unique segment the first body paragraph should talk about learning about business by uh, you know educating oneself at a college or a university the second body paragraph is about the other ways other better ways not just other ways you also have to justify why the other ways are better as compared with uh, studying at a college then give your opinion so here the question clearly specifies that your opinion is mandatory so your opinion is is required to be given both in the introduction as well as in the conclusion now i told you that i'm going to give you a, a, a brief checklist of what you can uh, do in the exam so uh, the first thing is what is the main topic here the main topic as we discussed is about learning about business then is your opinion required yes it is then what are the micro keywords here the best way then other better ways so these have to be on your mind when you read any essay prompt so i hope that it's not um, a tedious task for you to do this it's very simple but believe me guys it's quite effective when you follow this uh, strategy you will you'll get a better understanding of the question that is what is the main motive of today's video so let's make sure that you understand this strategy of how to identify the main topic how to identify if your opinion is required or not and finally how to identify the micro keywords so this has to be uh, running in your mind now let me give you another example i hope that this example makes sense uh, please do leave us a comment if you feel that i need to give some more examples or maybe i should uh, uh, give some questions for you to do it if you if you need them please do leave us a comment and let us know what you think and uh, we will definitely consider your suggestion in the right sense and make the next video on that so having said that let's proceed to the next question guys now here let's read the question together the most effective way the most effective way means that there is no better way this is the best way yeah so we have understood that uh, in the earlier question but again the most effective way to solve okay to solve the current traffic and pollution problems the current traffic that means we are not talking about uh, the problems which were encountered 
in the past we are just focusing on what the current trend is what are the problems faced in the current situation and here again you need to focus on two things here the first one is traffic and the second one is pollution if you if you just focus on one and leave the other it means that your task response is going to take a hit the score for task response is going to uh, be lower if you do not focus on all the elements of the question then current traffic and pollution problems in cities so you're not going to talk about villages you're not going to talk about the traffic and pollution in uh, the countryside the focus is on the problems in cities and what is the solution to these problems it is to encourage people to move from the suburbs or countryside into the city center so here comes the major problem i have seen students who did not read the question properly and they thought that you know because the the cities are polluted and filled with traffic people should be moved from the cities to the villages or suburbs but is that what the question says no it says that people have to be moved people have to be encouraged to move from the suburbs into the city center so it is vice versa please focus on the direction here from where to where that's very important and here the question says to what extent do you agree or disagree so here it is not asking you to agree or disagree completely you may do that that is why it specifically mentions to what extent what is the extent to which you are agreeing or disagreeing that means it can be a partial agreement a complete agreement a partial disagreement or a complete disagreement having said that if you choose uh, any of these options it's also very essential that you justify them with relevant reasoning uh, in the form of supporting example supporting statements examples and all that it's very very important guys now coming back to our checklist what is the main topic here solving the current traffic and pollution problems you just should not focus on uh, the problems alone but here they are talking about a solution to these problems and that too it, it is said that the most effective way so you should not talk about any other ways uh, in at least in the paraphrasing part of the question then the micro keywords the most effective way we have spoken about this then move from suburbs into the city center and again what extent this is how you decode the question and is your opinion required yes because it says do you agree or disagree now uh, so far we have discussed so far we have discussed about um, uh, the question prompts in which your opinion is required now i am going to give you one uh, example of question in which your opinion is not so important so let's look at that okay so let's examine this question in some countries people prefer to rent a house than buy one now here comes the confusing part guys uh, it might sound very silly but i have seen students who were confused between t h a n and t h e n i don't know why that happens but let me clarify that t h a n is a comparison t h e n is the result t h a n is a comparative phrase comparative word now here it is like the preference of place to live whether it is renting a house or buying one and what is the preferred choice of people in some countries renting or renting is preferred to buying so do not confuse uh, between these words guys here the first phrase is rent a house than buy one so people are not so interested in purchasing a house rather rather they are interested in renting 
in, in being a tenant. Now here the question says what are the advantages and disadvantages. Now both these words are in the plural form which means that you need to uh, provide at least two advantages and two disadvantages in the body paragraphs. You should not confine yourself to writing just one advantage and one drawback. Then look at this guys. If you just stop reading the question here, you are going to focus on both renting and buying. But here they are talking about renting a property. So you should not talk about the advantages and disadvantages of buying a property because already it's mentioned in the first statement that the preference of people is to rent rather than to buy. So you are not supposed to talk about buying. This is how you have to take sufficient time to read the question word by word. Now what is the main topic here? Renting versus buying and the preferred choice obviously is the first one. So renting is very important. Then what are the micro keywords? Prefer. That means it is, it is the choice that is made by people. Then advantages and disadvantages. So here the essay has to cover both the advantages as well as the disadvantages. So that is the meaning of and. When you, when you look at the previous question, it said, to what extent do you agree or disagree? So or indicates that you need to talk about just one of them. But here it says advantages and disadvantages, which means that you need to focus on both the advantages and the disadvantages. And is your opinion required here? It is not required. You just need to specify what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages. That's it. You're not required to give your opinion. Now I'm going to give another uh, essay prompt. Uh, again, let's look at whether your opinion is required and let's look at how to analyze the question. In the modern world, in the modern world, that is in the current scenario, it is possible. I hope you all know what is the meaning of possible. Possible means that there is a chance, there is a possibility to shop, work and communicate online. So you need to talk about, you need to cover three parts of the question. It is not just about the advantages of online shopping. They are telling that there is a chance to work online, to shop online and to communicate with others using online platforms or maybe something like social media platforms or a video calling or something like that. That is up to you. But you need to cover about all three of them in the essay without any face to face contact with other people. That means there is no direct contact. You don't need to meet a person. Uh, to shop, to work and to communicate. So everything uh, is possible using the internet. That is what it says. Is this, what is the meaning of this here? Online shopping, online working, online communication without face to face. So is this scenario a positive or negative development? Again here, you can see that there is the word, word or which means that you need to confine yourself to, um, to either a positive side or a negative side. You should not talk about both of them. So now here the main topic is shopping, working, communicating online without direct contact. And what are the micro keywords here? It is possible. So they are not telling for sure. They are not uh, being very confident about it, but they, they only say that there is a chance. Then positive or negative. Is your opinion required? Yes. Because if you say that it's a positive development, you need to explain why you think it is. If you say that it's a negative one, you need to specify and uh, talk about this in detail. So I hope that with these examples, you got a clear understanding of how to analyze and understand a question. If you have any doubts, whether it is a small one or let's say you, you don't understand any, any part of this video or essay writing in general, please do feel free to leave us a comment in the comment section. We will get back to you with the response as early as I can. 
thank you so much for taking time to watch the video till the end please do give it a like share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are not one of our subscribers already uh, so once again i wish you all the best with your preparation and make sure that you leave no stone unturned to get the desired score in the test i wish you all the best take care guys happy preparation bye bye